Good morning, morning sippers. It's Monday. It is Monday. So how are you guys? Me, it's Monday. I'm not gonna be. Oh, I'm not gonna be before you long. <laughs> Sound like church, huh? I'm not gonna be before you long because I got orders to fill. Okay. So I got my coffee, giving the cars a good shuffle. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell so you'll know when a new video comes out if you're on YouTube. Always leave me a comment no matter what platform you're on. If you're on Facebook or Instagram, like the, like the post or like the video. And for all your coffee and glam needs, I got my coffee this morning. For all your coffee and glam needs, visit the Glam Cafe at www dot the glam cafe dot com and let's get into this <clears throat> so I woke up this morning with you know when I first wake up I always just lay there uh, go through a couple things that I'm grateful for before I even get out the bed and then I just you know a thought always pops into my mind and whatever that thought is that's what I focus on for today and a thought popped into my mind that we are so concerned about fulfilling expectations of others, okay? F fulfilling whatever image other people have placed on us. And so we try to step into that role. And what that does is, one, you lose yourself and what really it, it is that you want. But number two, you'll kill yourself trying to, you know, live up to other people's standards and expectations. Hell. Are they even living up? Those expectations that they put on you, are they even living up to them? Can they do them? You, you see what I'm saying? So, today, I made a decision to only live up to what expectations I put on myself. You know? And whoever else doesn't like it, that's just, you know, that's kind of their problem. That's where I'm at. And that comes with age, I really believe. We all know I'm not you know, I'm only 25 years old, <laughs> but I'm wise for a 25 year old. <laughs> uh, but that comes with age. When you get to the point to where you really just don't care what people think, you don't care about, um, I'm not gonna say you don't care how they feel, but you don't care about how they feel about how you choose to live your life, okay? Um, so yeah, just only worry about your expectations because you'll never, be able to live up to the expectations of others and a lot of the times the standards like I said the standards that they try to put on others they not even living up to those standards so your guidance guidance card is fertility it's, it, it is the perfect time for you to start new projects access new ideas and give birth to new conditions so some of you guys may be working on trying to get a baby if so this is the perfect time for you okay but also, a lot of us are pregnant with purpose, or pregnant with businesses, or pregnant with ideas, pregnant with projects, pregnant, you know, with changing our living situations, okay? And this is a great time, or a perfect time, to nurture those things, okay? This is a perfect time to sit down with a pencil and a piece of paper, and write down all the new things you want in your life between now and December, okay? And to sketch out a plan, um, a mundane plan a lot of people that follow me I know they practice some kind some kind of manifestation practices also but you need mundane to go with the magic okay and so this is a perfect time to sit down and <clears throat> write out what you want between now and December and all the practical steps that you need to take like if you want to buy a house between now and December then one of your steps should be pull my credit the next step should be look at my credit. The third step should be highlight all the negative <laughs> items. The fourth step should be figure out how to dispute those things. Or do I need to go and, you know, um, seek out a business that does credit repair? Okay, the third thing should be finding a real estate agent. You see what I'm saying? So there's mundane steps to go with your manifestation process. And manifestation is nothing more than praying or, you know, whatever else people do, lighting candles, you know, that type of thing. 
but perfect time for that okay so let's see what we got going how does my morning sipper feel currently okay so you feel three of cups they feel knight of wands <clears throat> why is this all happening okay it's all happening to the seven of cups in reverse okay so no more fantasy somebody here sees things for what it is best case scenario give me a best case scenario give me a best case scenario eight of pentacles so you might work on it here might work on it overall energy is the six of wands so success confidence um yeah success confidence success after a tower okay so success after a tower so i feel like something may have um something may have transpired here where you guys are no longer together or something may have transpired where it shook the relationship up okay um but with six of wands somebody's coming back feeling victorious somebody's confident okay could be dealing with a fire sign here somebody's very confident though somebody may have a lot of admirers okay the admirers could have been the fact so i'm gonna pull another card on that why well, is a tower here in the, in the overall energy <clears throat> why is this tower here could be dealing with a scorpio or a fire sign eight of cups somebody walked away okay so i feel like you know the overall energy or the underlying the overall of what happened in this situation is this person probably got a lot of someone here got a lot of attention from the opposite sex okay um which normally especially with this knight of wands up here normally when you get a lot of attention there tends to be other people involved in their relationship and i feel like especially with you and the energy of the three of cups this could be you run wanting to reconciliate but this could be also you acknowledging okay because with the seven of cups in reverse this is no longer living in a fantasy you see things for what they are seeing the reality of the situation so you may now know that this person was probably dealing with more than one person your person is the knight of wands that's a, that's a night it's a very sexual night um a very passionate night a, a very fiery night but this night is somebody who goes from you know this is kind of like the papa was a rolling stone night um and so you may be acknowledging that now okay i feel like those kind of activities is what caused a break in the relationship um this person could be very cocky uh very prideful have a big ego okay um so also somebody walked away here with this eight of cups turned their back and walked away from the situation okay so your energy is currently the three of cups could be dealing with a water sign okay yeah the devil card just as i said okay so you are you're pretty convinced that this person had a third party going on could be dealing with a capricorn but and you feel like or you acknowledge that as being a toxic trait okay why is this devil here yeah four of wands so I feel like there was some toxicity in the, um, or you feel like there was some toxicity in the, in the commitment that you're in. Also, you could feel like this person was already committed and had you in a three, in a third party situation. If you look, there's a man, woman, a child here. So this is a commitment. So when this person came to you, they may have already been in a commitment. Okay. So your person Lee, is currently the Knight of Wands. So he roaming to and fro. <laughs> five of pentacles this person could be having some financial issues that five of pentacles keeps coming out why okay so you know what this person may feel abandoned by you the fact you know what when you got a big ego and a lot of pride the audacity that somebody has to actually call you out on your crap would piss this kind of person off okay so this person actually feels abandoned by you even though they were doing the wrong thing okay could be dealing with an earth sign they're currently the king of swords so they're very detached from you you guys probably aren't talking could be dealing with a libra aquarius gemini um but they're very cold and detached from you why is this king of swords here okay 
Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. They could be. Okay, so like I said, they probably were already in a commitment. This person is very cold and detached from you. And the fact that they aren't communicating with you, they could be communicating with the other. Okay? With the situation that they were already in prior to. Okay? So now this is all happening because somebody sees the reality of a situation. Okay? And I'm feeling like that's you. You see it for what it is. No more sugarcoating it. No more trying to, you know, explain it away. You see it for what it is. Okay? The magician. Yeah. You see that they was playing games. You see that they were wearing a false mask. You see that they were creating an illusion. Okay? Could be dealing with a Gemini or a Virgo. You're very well aware of it. Okay? Six of Pentacles. You're well aware that this person was given to more than one person. Okay? You see all these hands at the bottom of this card? They was putting a lid on each hand, you know? <laughs> okay? So, the best case scenario is the Eight of Pentacles. Could be dealing with an Earth sign. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Okay. Nine of Cups. I really feel like, and this goes along, this goes along with that fertility card that I pulled. Um, and this is so funny how things work. Because I just said that my thoughts today were only working up to your expectations and not the expectations of others okay i really feel like in the best case scenario you're going to be focused on yourself and what's going to get you to this nine of cups what's going to get you to wish fulfillment and happiness okay i feel like you're going to be working working on your projects things that you want to do goals the way you want your life to go i feel like you're going to be because this person is working solo this is somebody who's just in their office working on you know, whatever they need to work on for themselves. And I feel like that's the direction. That's the direction that um, that you're going to go. OK, but how funny is it? Yeah, because too much betrayal here. Ten of swords. I feel like this is over whatever this is um, or you feel betrayed by this person. So you, what I just said, bottom of deck, nine of pentacles. This is somebody who is single. This, this is a woman or a, a man. It, doesn't matter but this is somebody who is single independent and prosperous on their own nine of pentacles energy i really feel like that's the energy you're going to be in okay that's the energy that you're going to be in this fertility card speaks to exactly what i just got done saying it is a perfect time for you to start new projects access new ideas and give birth to new conditions when i'm looking at this it's a lot of pentacles up here very little cups not a lot of emotion in this reading between you and this person, okay? Um, so there's not a, not a lot of love here at this point because things can change, definitely. Um, people change. But I feel like best case scenario, you're going to be working on, how, working on how do I get to this, okay? That's what I feel. That's what I feel. And you're only worried about your own expectations, not the expectations of others. You're not going to let other people impose their standards onto you. Okay. So I hope this reading was helpful for you. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell. So you'll know when a new video comes out. If you're on YouTube, uh, no matter what platform, leave me a comment and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.